Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how there are rumors about there being a Spider-Man 4 in the upcoming Phase 5 of the MCU. So, let's uh, read. And, as you got, if you guys didn't know, before I read, obviously, Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel hero outside of Black Panther. I known that probably with a lot of people, Spider Man was like one of the first Marvel heroes that I got introduced to. For me, I knew of Spider Man through like Spider Man the Amazing Friends in the nineties series. And I know there were comic books out, but I was I don't think I was into comic books at the time. What got me into Spider Man was the Tobey Maguire Spider Man movies. That is what got me to Spider Man, and ever since then I have not looked back. Spider-Man is, has been the King Cobra for me, for Marvel, so. Anywho, I'm going to stop uh, going on and on and on and on and on and on on and on and on and on and on and on. If you guys could understand me that time, I'm going to read. Peter Parker had better keep his web fluid supply stocked. A website called Cosmic Circus reports that their... Sources inform them that Spider-Man 4, 4, that is the fourth Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland, has a release date of tw July 12th, 2024. This puts it two weeks ahead of Thunderbolts, which would likely be moved where where, uh, where Spidey in his spin webs over theaters so soon before it. Cosmic Circus says other shifts to the Phase 5 lineup are likely, which would fit right in with the slate of the Softball Marvel release dates announced earlier today. And this was, um, this article was uh, released on October 11th, for context. Now, Cosmic Circus sources also tells them the Spider-Man 4 will have Spidey going up against the street level threat before facing something more adventurous level. Whether they mean the bigger feeling will be the same in the same movie or just Spider-Man will appear in the Kang Dynasty and such or Secret War is hard to tell. I hope it's in the latter. Um, the movie may also concern Spider-Man dealing with the fallout from Devil Born Again. They also, which, what the hell does that even mean? Because Daredevil Born Again hasn't even come out yet, to my knowledge. Uh, they also say that Peter coming in contact with Phenom, with the Phenom symbiote, which was teased in the mid credit scene of Spider-Man No Way Home, will be saved for later, possibly Secret Wars, and keep being with a comic book co continuity. Finally, there is no concrete news on this. Their sources th tell them another visit from Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's version of Spider-Man is planned at some point. Maybe they mean like getting a Spider-Man 4 and Amazing Spider-Man 3, I don't know. Uh, Spider-Man coming, come back home. Spider-Man the long way home. Spider-Man home is where the heart is. Spider-Man home for the holidays. We know it won't be home for Christmas. So they were just messing with the names because all the MCU Spider-Man movies has been Spider-Man and then something with home in it. Like, No Way Home, Far From Home. Homecoming. Anywho, I don't see how reliable this information is. I've been, I've never heard of Cosmic Circus before, and it's only seem, seen the info turn up on the com, coming soon dot net and the direct that convinced me it was worth mentioning. But I think of it some, it, some of it makes sense. It's unlikely Marvel wanted two whole faces, absurd through the. Delineation may have been to go without 
their remaining superstar, especially after he ranked and cast during the otherwise abnational box office run. And after the No Way Home ended, Spidey looks like he's finally ready to concentrate on the street crime instead of alternate universe and giant tidal waves. So I have to, uh, giant tidal waves. I hope they stick to that and keep Spidey Cosmic Adventures for when he shows up in the Adventures movies. I would like to, I like to focus, I like, I would like them to focus more on the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man aspect of the character. To the end, I like the idea of him, of making his adequations of the symbiote taking place in Secret Wars. Beyond it being a line of the comics, it is, it makes sense to keep the fan fictional staff the bigger mo movies, then let him deal with the ramifications in the more personal way in his solo outing. Tying the next film to Daredevil sounds good too, especially if the new Disney Plus, Plus version gets the character and shows right, fingers crossed, hard enough to snap knuckles. Maybe the Kingpin will be a big villain. He could even be shown as a sponsor behind the Spidey gimmick nemesis. He, uh, like he always was in the 90s cartoon. This could mean Daredevil shows up again. And on the one hand, of course, I would love that. But I think I would prefer to hold off on the team, team ups and let Spider Man have his own movie for a change. I have to agree, because in each Spider-Man movie, he teams up with someone. In the first Spider-Man movie, he teams up with uh, Iron Man. Spider-Man 2, well, I'm saying, like, I'm dropping the home titles and just saying 1, 2, 3. The first Tom Holland movie, Iron Man. Second Tom Holland movie um, was Mysterio, which he later fights. Third Spider-Man movie, he... Teams up with his dimension from um his dimensional duplicates being Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker and um um Peter uh, Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker and to Tobey Maguire's Spider Man as well. So yeah, I I would like to see Peter Parker, Tom Holland Spider Man carrying a movie on his own where he doesn't team up with another hero because I think. He deserves at least one movie where he does that. That's just me. But yet again, have seen Daredevil and Spider Man teaming up on the big screen would also be badass. So, like this person, I'm kind of torn. Um, maybe uh, da 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 da. I will. I want to see that what Tom Holland can do with no training wheels. Exactly. I'm less keen on seeing Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield again. They were going no way home, but how many times can you ring the bell before it just become noise? And that's also true, because the reason why... um I'll kick back to this in a sec. The reason why Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield being in Spider-Man No Way Home was so awesome is because... Yeah, even though we might have expected it to happen, the way they did it was so beautiful. And I feel like having these dimensional... Having... Just bring that back in a few more times could try the well a bit. They did a great job in No Way Home, sir. If they bring them in one more time, it may it won't have the same effect as it was in No Way Home. So, like, I like, I would rather if they're going to have Tobey Maguire enter Garfield be Spider Man again, have it where Tobey Maguire is to come back for his, a Spider Man four, his own person though. Continuity is the same as his first three films, and Andrew Garfield to reprise as like to come back to a for Amazing Spider-Man three. Sure, couldn't like um, 
in both solo movies I'm referring to could or and in the rumored Spider-Man Four could um reference the events of No Way Home, sir. But this specific crossover between Tom Holland's Andrew Garfield's uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man doing it again won't have the same effect as No Way Home did. And so, as much as I would love to see the team-up happen again, I prefer not. I prefer that team-up not happen again. Again, because it won't be the same as No Way Home. And with that said, I'm going to continue with the article. Which just seems like it's towards the end, which is, what do you think of the of these new Spider-Man 4 rumors? Would you like to see it in the next m movie? Is Morbius going to travel to the 616 universe and convince Peter to that his movie was a hit? So that's really what's it. It says, uh, let us know in the comments and stick around Geeks and Gamers for more slowly leaking possible MCU news. And yes, I got this from Geeks and Gamers. I couldn't resist. Um, so yeah, I, um, I, I have to agree essentially with this article that I would rather see Peter Parker being that friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in a solo movie. Sure, have Daredevil come in, maybe have like a team up towards the end of the movie, but, or whatever, but I would be up. I, I'm, like, I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn because, like I said earlier, because on one hand, I would love to see. A Daredevil Spider-Man crossover, right? And if they're going to do it, they might as well do it now when Daredevil is hot, right? And Charlie Cox is on board doing it, sure. But at some point, and if they don't do it, do it in the Spider-Man, in the MCU Spider-Man 4, then maybe in the MCU Spider-Man 5, have Peter Tom Holland Spider-Man have for solo run because part of why I loved the Tobey Maguire and the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man is because they were they did it thing solo right sure in Spider-Man 3 uh Peter Parker teams up with Harry Osborn sir trust the end and then um Spider-Man Amazing Spider-Man, he uh, team and two in the second one, he teams up with Gwen Stacy in a way, a little bit, and her father in the first movie, but they did all the heavy lifting, really. They did most of the heavy, like, they did most of the heavy lifting in most, like, 90% of the time, they were Spider-Man. I want at least a movie where we can see Tom Holland's Spider-Man star in his own movie without having to rely on another famous Marvel character, if that makes sense. Anywho, that's my thoughts. That's my two cents. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. With that said, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. If you kind of want another, and let me know how you guys feel about this article in the comment section down below. Until then, later taters.